Okay, so this is meditation to bring our sacral chakra into balance. Your sacral chakra is above your root and below your navel, about two inches below your navel. And it's orange is the color of this chakra. We're going to just start by taking some nice easy breaths. Try breathing all the way down into your root chakra if you can, as far down into your belly as you can get your breath to go without forcing it. Pay attention to where your body's moving, just so you have your own personal barometer of how relaxed and integrated you are at the moment. Just get nice and centered, calm. Now I want you to picture yourself lying down in a prone position. We're not going to spend a lot of time with our root chakra, but we're going to get it just glowing and spinning nicely. I want you to envision the rays from, of light from the sun streaming down and filling your whole body from head to toe with light. And at the same time, I want you to feel from head to toe the light coming up from the core of the earth and permeating everything from you from below. So the sunlight coming down from above and the golden light from the core of the earth coming up from below and just radiating light to you from head to toe. Mm -hmm from above and below. And with your next breath, I want you to see your root chakra enlarge to about the size of a bowling ball. So as, you, as you're looking at yourself lying on, bed, on the bed, your root chakra now extends above and below you as a globe and it's gently spinning. It's a beautiful red. It's nice and balanced. You feel safe. You feel secure. Your ego is not taken over. It's allowing you as a spiritual being to function and it's just minding its own business. Now, as your next breath, we're going to move into your sacral chakra. Mm -hmm. And this is your mm -hmm. seat of mm -hmm. sexuality and life force. Remember, your root chakra is what keeps you safe. It deals with your survival and it's blocked by fear. But your sacral chakra deals with pleasure and it's blocked by guilt. And so this is the seat of your sexuality. It's really the seat of your life force. And you want to really breathe into it and help it get balanced and integrated with everything that's happening lately. This could be a tricky chakra because 
It has to do with your body. And you actually aren't your body, right? You, you use this body. You inhabit this body. You were given this body. But you aren't the body. The body is the housing for your divinity, your spirit and your soul to use in this realm. And our body is made up of all kinds of pleasure sensors, all kinds of, of abilities to feel in a physical way. And our sexuality is tied to this root chakra. And in the physical plane, in the 3D world, in this society, our physical bodies, our sexuality, all of these things have, have been confused and mistreated. And so bringing your sacral chakra into balance is really a key component to being a functioning human. And we have to bring into balance our spirit with our body Otherwise, we run into these dichotomies that we were talking about earlier, where you have a spiritual teacher who's talking about a new world, but who's doing it in terms of, of old language and separation and duality. And in a way, this chakra may be sort of a source of the duality that we experience because it is very 3D because it's so tied to your body, which makes it 3D. And so you may, be a, you may be a woman in a woman's body. You may be a man in a woman's body. I'm not going to go through the other permutations because I only have women on the call right now. But, but you see how you could change it up. And each of us has come into this world with those feelings in that chakra. And then we've expressed ourselves using our body, and then the world has responded to us. And if it didn't respond with love, we may very well be packing guilt around and not even realize, realizing it. And we might have strange, not strange, but, you know, not maybe not common or, or our own unique uh, guilts. We may, we may feel guilty for something that other people would, wouldn't even understand based on the relationships that we've had with people. Sexuality is a very personal thing. And when two people come together and share their sexuality, they may find that they are simpatico, they may find they're very, very compatible, or they may find they're not. And that may cause problems, that may cause self-image problems, and it may contribute to feelings of guilt. Maybe you've had a partner ask you to do something that you couldn't bring yourself to do. Or maybe you did it, and it, it didn't bring you any pleasure. Guilt comes from all kinds of places. It also comes from a lot of religious teachings where we've been taught that we should feel guilty because we did something that caused somebody else sadness or misery. So there's a lot of confusion around guilt and around processing our emotions 
and remembering remembering Don Miguel Ruiz's four agreements is really so paramount in this healing because don't take things personally, right? And and when people speak, remember that their words are a reflection of them, not you. Because a lot of guilt comes from the things that people have said to us. People have told us to be guilty. That's where it comes from. It's not a natural emotion. And so you really have to go back and break it down and realize that when people were saying things to you that have caused you to feel guilty, they, they were speaking about themselves. They were reflecting their own beliefs. And so never take those things personally. Never own something that someone tells you you are. You know who you are. And if someone tells you who you are and it doesn't sit right or you disagree with it, don't take it in. Don't take it on. Don't believe it. Go in to yourself. Meditate yourself and discover who you are. And let go of their proclamations of how you should be. Never assume you know what someone else really means or is really going through. Never assume you know what you're looking at. You know, that comes out of the Course of Miracles. We don't know what we're looking at. When we make these assumptions, they don't serve us, and they don't serve anybody else either. But never take it personally, because somebody else is only reflecting themselves, always. Mm -hmm. So breathe into this chakra and see this chakra letting go of all of that. Allow yourself the feelings of your body. Allow yourself. It's okay to have a physical body and to feel pleasure. It's okay. As long as you're not hurting anyone else in the process, it's okay. And forgive yourself anything and everything that you've done that other people have said you shouldn't do or that hurt them or that you're a bad person because of whatever. Let it all go. Because none of it is true. It might be true for them, but there is no ultimate truth to it. The only ultimate truth is what's true for you in your heart. So breathe into this chakra and see it growing and enlarging. And feel the support of the universe beating down from above with its light and beating up from below with its light. And raising your frequency and allowing you to come into your own. With your next breath, 
We're going to just touch on the other chakras and bring them up to speed. So visualize yourself again in that horizontal position with the light beaming down from above and the light beaming up from below. And with your next breath, you're going to go down, breathe down into your heart chakra, or rather your solar plexus chakra. Let's not jump around. Breathe into your solar plexus chakra and just see it. See that bowling ball size enlargening. So your solar plexus chakra is your chakra of willpower. And see your willpower coming into balance. And see that globe, large and golden yellow. Now we're gonna move up into our heart. And our heart chakra is our seat of love. And it's green, it's a vibrant, beautiful emerald green. It's your seat of love and it's blocked by grief. And just breathe into that heart chakra, fill your core with love. Let go of any sadness or grief that you might be holding. We're in a new world. We don't know what this world is, but it's coming and we're gonna help birth it. And we're gonna do it with love. So see that chakra glowing and growing to the size of a bowling ball, extending above your prone form and below, receiving all of the radiation from the light from above and below. Feel that love emanating out of you. And now with your next breath, you're going to breathe into your throat chakra. And you're going to see the blue orb at your throat growing larger and extending above and below your prone form in a deep, deep blue. And we're going to receive the light from above and the light from below. And it's going to charge this chakra with the truth. And we're going to become only speakers of the truth. And as we move into this new world, we'll find ourselves making the conscious choice. If it's not the truth, we won't, we won't share it. We won't speak it. Because more and more what we're feeling and seeing is that we're coming into resonance. Humanity is going to come into resonance with love and the truth. And we are these agents that will help. See that orb really extending above and below your body, growing in force and magnitude. Now with your next breath, we're gonna draw it into your third eye. And your third eye is the seat of insight. 
And you're going to see that orb glowing a deep purple, the spiritual color of purple. And you're going to feel the radiance of the sun above and the core below, filling this chakra with light and wisdom and insight. really see it growing in capacity and knowing that as, as you grow, you become more and more a receptor of insight. Your third eye becomes wider and wider and you become a direct channel for divine knowing and divine wisdom. And when this, when this chakra is really strengthened and open, you become a receiver of universal knowledge. And answers will come to you, answers you didn't even know you needed. Now with the next breath, you're going to breathe into your crown chakra. At the top of your head. And this chakra is your connection to cosmic energy. And it's going to open up into a purple, lavender, white. And, and radiate with a white, clear, crystal light, unlike anything earthly. can feel the light of the sun and the light of the core radiating, filling your body with light. And now the channel is complete and the light is flowing from all directions now. It's moving from head to toe, from toe to head, from above and from below. And so you are now this energized being inhabiting this housing that has now been finely tuned. So now I'm being directed basically to encourage you to spend a few minutes now 
thinking about the week ahead while you're in this state, if there's anything that you know you have to do, if there's conversations you know you have to have, if there's places you know you have to go, if there's projects you know you have to work on. In the next few minutes, in this state, I want you to bask in the feeling that the universe is going to help you be the best with all of it, whatever it is. When you need to let go of the 3D confines, it will be easy. When you need to remember that you're an embodied spirit, it will be easy. When you need to know the answers to something, they will come without worry or, or stress. They'll be given you. If there's something you need help with, a helper will arrive. It is the way we are meant to be. In tune and connected with everything around us, everything is living, everything is conscious, and everything wants what's best for us. And in this state, you allow it to help because you are embodied and attuned and resonating with it. So in closing, the most important thing you can remember is that you are not alone. And this, what you see when you open up your eyes, is not all there is. Something much grander exists here. And no matter what, you are always safe, you are always protected, and you are always loved by divinity and the universe. So take one final deep breath. See each of those chakras spinning nicely, beautifully. See little sparks of light coming off of each of them and surrounding you like glitter. And when you open your eyes and come back to the room, know that there is an aura of glitter that surrounds you and that it's always there for you when you need it. Namaste and much love.